Hi, grade five. I'm sorry, my uh, my electricity went out, but it's back now. Can everyone please turn off their video? <laughs> Okay, Yasin, I'm here now. All right. Uh, sorry, guys, I lost electricity. Uh, sorry, the electricity cut off, I mean. Um, all right, I'm going to share my screen. All right, so we were just about to start page 231 in your Your Turn Practice Workbook. Is everyone on the page? <laughs> All right, so um, before I lost uh, connection, I was telling you guys that, or I was asking you about the definition of spheres. What is a sphere? Yasina Duini, tell me, what is a sphere? Please, can I say? All right, go ahead. Yes, Three dimensional figures, globes. Okay, so a sphere is anything that is shaped like a ball or a globe. Okay? Yeah. yeah Duane, tell me what a diameter is. A sphere is a diameter in Excellent. Okay. So, um, so the diameter is the, is when we measure from, uh, we measure across the center of a circle, right? So from one side to the other. Very good. Okay, who's sending me in the chat? Um, all right, guys. So that's the definition of diameter. How do we put these two in a sentence? Can I put them in a sentence? Go ahead, Danahi, sure. Um, um, I measure the diameter of the sphere. Okay, we have spheres. So I measure the diameter of the spheres, okay, for example, or we could say um, both spheres both sphere that is the have of the... the same diameter, for example, okay, of, let's say, five inches, for example, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Just so we have spheres and diameter. Yes, Isa? I can't understand the meaning of uh, criteria. Of criteria? Yeah. Okay. Um, so criteria means rules for judging something or for making a decision. Okay. So uh, think about, for example, when you guys did the um, student council, the student council elections, there was certain criteria, right? Um, in order for you to be a candidate. Right, uh, criteria means criteria means rules for judging something or rules for making a decision. Okay, so when I am choosing uh, or when I am nominating, for example, somebody for student of the month, they must meet certain criteria. Okay, for example, they must have good behavior. They must have um, they must have high marks. Right, they must study hard. Uh, they must have shown improvement. Okay, so even if they do not have the highest marks, they must have shown improvement. Um, they must be a good role model for the students, okay? For example, right? So all of these things, these are the criteria that I look at when I'm selecting what the student of the month. Is this clear? Yeah. Okay, all right, so this is criteria. Criteria uh, means rules for judging something or for making a decision, okay? All right. Um, what does evaluate mean, guys? Mm 
Or I'll give you another you example of criteria, guys. For example, if I give you your... Um, so think about the writing projects that I assign you, for example. Okay? When I'm giving you your mark, when I am choosing or when I am calculating your grade, I look at um, criteria to make sure that you have you have completed everything. So for example, uh, I will give you uh, a perfect 100% if you have completed all of the uh, necessary steps, okay? So this is the criteria. I look at uh, first to make sure that you have completed your uh, Venn diagram, for example. Then I'm going to look to make sure that you have completed your paragraphs. I'm going to make sure that you have uh, written in neat, in neat handwriting, to make sure that you have included an illustration, that you have submitted it on time. So all of this is the criteria that I use to grade your projects or to give you your mark. Is this clear? Yes. Okay, so how do we put evaluate and criteria in a sentence? When you evaluate something, this means that you examine that it. That you see how good or better it is. That's right, excellent. You examine it or you look at it closely to decide its value, right? So these two are related, especially if we think about the example that I just gave you about the project. So how could we put these two in a sentence? We could say, for example, the teacher planned, or the, yeah, the teacher planned to evaluate, remember, evaluate means examine closely to decide its value. The teacher planned to evaluate our projects based on, based on this criteria. Is that clear, guys? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Isil, do you understand? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, number three, we have astronomical and orbit. No. Astronomical and orbit. What does astronomical oh, mean? That. Okay, make mm -hmm. sure that we have our mics mm -hmm. off. I'm trying mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Okay, Habib, tell me what does astronomical mean? Having to do with astronomy, the science of the sun, stars, planets, and other space objects. Excellent. Okay, so it means relating to outer space or astronomy. Very good. And what about um, orbit? Um, orbit means uh, an object uh, turns up around another so orbit, orbit here is a verb, right? Um, yes. An object that orbits something does what? It circles around it again and turns around it again. Yeah. All right. So how do we put these two in a sentence? Who can put it in a sentence? I can. Okay. I, I said, can. Go ahead. The astronomical sphere, uh, the astronomical Earth orbits the sun. All right, the um, Earth orbits the sun. Okay, we don't want to say astronomical Earth, right? Because we know that the Earth is already in um, the sky. It's already part of the solar system. How can we add uh, astronomical in another way? What can I say? Please. Let's see. So I want to take ISO sentence and add astronomical. Miss. Can right. I see? Did you guys learn about, um, did you guys read in science before about satellites? Do we know what satellites do? Yes. Yeah. What does a satellite do? Satellite orbits the Earth. Okay, so it orbits the Earth. Okay, so we could say, for example, the satellite orbits. You said Lord orbit the Earth. Or here we have orbit, not with an S. The satellite will orbit Earth to gather astronomical photographs. Information. information and photographs. Okay, let's add information also. This could it be like uh, we need astronomical objects to know, to know that moon orbits the Earth? Okay, so we use astronomical information to know that the, um, the Earth orbits the sun, for example. Okay. Miss, can right. I say that? What? Uh, miss, can I also say that astronomical researchers say that um, the Earth orbits the sun in a, like that? Yes, we can. 
All right, and number four, we have calculation and approximately. What is a calculation? We said a calculation is something in math. When we do math, when we do math to find an answer. Okay, we use math to find an answer. And approximately means about about almost nearly the same size. Okay? Not exactly. Not exactly. Um, so how do we put these two in a sentence? What could we say? We could say um, uh, my calculate um, my calculation says that uh, if we moved in this approximately at this speed, we will go we will arrive in one hour. Okay, so based on my calculation, very good, based on my calculation, if we continue moving at the same speed, we will arrive in approximately one hour. Very good. Okay, guys. Okay. Does anybody have questions about the uh, vocab? No, thank you. No. Right. So thank I just you. want for us to do one more thing before the meeting ends. We're going to look at um, a short selection from expository text on page 236 called Seeing the Light. Did everybody, uh, before I move on, did everybody write this in their uh, practice workbook? No. Okay, so one minute and then I'm going to move on, guys. Done? No, no, miss. Okay, quickly, guys. So we have time to answer the... Uh... I'm finished. Finished? All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move on, guys. If you... Uh, miss, I want to take a screenshot. Okay, go ahead, quickly. Done? I think I done. Okay. Okay. So now 236. We don't have much time. Let's try to read quickly. Okay. Um, seeing the light. Who would like to read this paragraph? Yes. Yes, me. me. Yes. 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 Uh, it goes all of my, uh, of my mom. Because my what? mom. Goes all, all of my mom. The, the, the loud sound of all, all of it of my mom. Okay, I didn't hear. It's okay, Dean. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, who would like to read? Uh, oh, my mom. Me. To be, be uh, Miss, where did it before? Where did it before? No, we didn't read this before. Changing is seeing the light. Page two hundred and thirty-six, mm -hmm. not two twenty-six. Raise your hand if you'd like to read, guys. Okay, Habiba, go ahead. Thank you. Seeing the light. In eighteen o three, Thomas Young made a discovery about light. He found that when light from two sources overlap, it made a pattern of bright light and darkness. He thought light acted like a wave. The bright rays were created when two light waves matched up. The dark rays were created when two waves did not match. The theory led to future discoveries about light. Okay, his theory to future discoveries about light. What genre is this? What type of text is this and how do we know? Text features. Okay, what, what text features do we have? How do we know uh, what type of text this is? This is called 
expository text, okay? It is expository text. We're going to try to answer this quickly because we're running out of time. It is expository text because... It, what are the text features? How do we know if something is expository text, guys? It contains it gives, gives information about the topic. facts and information, okay. It develops the topic with facts, details, examples, and explanations. Okay, so it contains facts and information about real things. About real things, yeah. so you need to remember, okay? What text features does this text include? What do we have here? We have a diagram, right? Do we see the diagram on the side? This has his um, theory about light waves. So first we have, of course, a title. So it includes a title and diagram with captions. All right, number three, how does the title relate to the main idea? So what is this text about? About seeing the light. All right, so it refers to Young's experiment, Thomas Young, his experiment, his experiment with light. Okay, and number four. Did you, did you call me? No, dear. And number four, how does the graphic text feature help you better understand the text? What does this diagram show? What does it show us? It shows how the light waves can change when two waves meet. All right, how is this related to the text? This is what is described, okay? his discovery. So his discovery is that um, light waves can change when two waves meet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and write the answer for you guys. The meeting will end. The diagrams show how light waves can change when two waves meet. This was Young's Discovery described in the text. Okay, guys, is this clear? The meeting will shut off, guys. Okay. Does anybody have any questions at all? Today you have a, um, a grammar sheet that will be uploaded after the meeting. Okay. Um, about uh, ad uh, adverbs that come uh, before uh, adverbs and adjectives, okay, about today's lesson. Okay. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, if anything is unclear for you. All right, and those of you who are physical Thank students, you. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to start um, by reading the uh, text in the, big, in the big book, in the literature anthology, expository text. It's about Pluto, okay? Um, and those of you who are online, I'm going to be uploading uh, videos. There was prob there were problems with uh, smart schools, but it's working now. So expect for videos to be uploaded shortly. Um, and again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Okay. Thank you. All right. So bye, guys. Bye. 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 Wait. Wait. Okay, Reem, the, the meeting is going to end. So if the you, meeting will finish. Reem. The meeting will end. So if you didn't. Uh, you didn't finish writing. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. I take.